Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, that means market outlook time during this Road to the Final UCL Live promotion. I wanna get you guys up to date with any upcoming content, SBCs, or market movements this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. So we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Obviously, we have the Road to the Final promo going on right now. We have a set of cards that are in packs. You guys know about that with some Europa League cards as well, some SBCs going on, um, and some objectives as well. We have the Mbabu objective. I'm sure you guys know about all the content stuff. We've already talked about that. Um, but that's kind of the objective you guys have to grind this week. But there's going to be some more. So I want to talk about a lot of things that it could affect this week and the market this, this week as well. Excuse me. Um, we had a big time... I wouldn't know if you'd say it a market crash, basically a market crash kind of centralized in a couple different areas. And that was with the strikers in throughout the game because of that Jamie Vardy SBC that came out um, on Friday. That SBC changed a lot of the market in terms of striker cards, attackers, even icons are down. Thanks to that SBC and just the hype of these road to the final cards, people are selling cards and going to try these new ones just because they're hyped up because they are good boost and the player selection is honestly unbelievable for these road to the final cards so this week a lot of the focus that people have in this game is on these cards because these cards are i mean people want these for their team they want to put them in their team sancho's actually down a, a decent amount around 234 alan's down a little so squad battle rewards was just a little bit ago as i'm recording this so looks like some of these guys might be down a little um, I don't think the lowest time for these guys is really going to depend on what happens throughout the rest of this week in terms of a couple SBCs, which I do want to mention. But I want to start at the beginning of the week. What can we expect today on Monday? EA told us during the live stream of, uh, I think it was during the, the pro event this weekend, the global series event in Romania this weekend in Bucharest, we are going to be getting the second half of the icon swap tokens through objectives today on Monday. They said that during the stream that today, Monday, was going to be when we would get the next set of the Icon Swap SBC. So be on the lookout in terms of these objectives today, refreshing and, um, you know, of course, when, this, when these objectives update, look in here to see if it requires any specific cards because for this bail one, uh, you, you need a bail in your squad. Of course, you can get a loan one, but you know, if it requires a certain nationality of players, you know, that might create some market movement stuff that we need to know about and stuff like that. So we should be getting more objectives today. I hope that they include something with like the friendlies mode. Um, but I assume since everything so far has been squad battles and rivals that they're going to make it the same way again. But I do hope that they incorporate this friendlies mode at, mode at some point into these objectives or into uh, the icon swap objectives because I think that'd be good and they revamped this mode this year. So hopefully they use it. That's all I have to say about that. But we will be getting the next 12 icon swap tokens um, today. So that actually can create some market movements. Throughout the rest of this week, you're gonna see people that really grind the icon swaps. If somebody's been saving for one of these higher tier icons, you know, maybe above 12, like a Zanetti, like the base icon pack, you're going to see people starting to have these be able to open. Maybe a Buchergueno, a Gerard, or a Drogba. A lot of people are saving up for this big Drogba card uh, as Chelsea fans or just Drogba fans. You're going to see a lot more of these cards come onto the market. So some of these icons prices have dropped a little bit already. But um, especially on some of these icons that are above 12 tokens, you might see their price drop a little bit this week in the next week or so, just because people are getting those items untradeable. If they already had them in the team, they might be going to sell their tradable version. There'd be a little bit less demand for these cards on the market because they are available to other people untradeable. So I wanted to mention that some of those prices have already been reflected. I think Ian Wright's been dropping, uh, you know, recently with all the strikers, the Jamie Vardy coming out. I think he's been dropping a little bit, um, stuff like that. So just keep an eye on some of these. I think Zanetti, you're probably going to see a lot more Zanetti start popping up in weekend league teams. Same thing with Rio Ferdinand. Um, and my advice to you guys is if you have an icon that you're going to get above 12 tokens, Try to get those swaps done as fast as you can because the faster you get those swaps done, I mean, I would even prioritize those icon swaps over this Mbabu. You have seven days to get this Mbabu, but if you can get those icon swaps done as fast as you can, that's just the quicker that you're going to be able to get that icon 
in your club and in your squad. So I would recommend get on those icon swaps as fast as you can and just crank it out and get it done um, so that you can have that icon and get it in your club. Don't just wait on it because now is the time and you want to be able to use that icon for as long as a foot. So that would be my recommendation for you guys on that. But I want to talk about some other things that could be happening this week that could really affect the market. And that is Ben Yedder, player of the month. I put a video up on the channel on Saturday talking about Ben Yedder Player of the Month SBC. Um, I think it's almost a lock for Ben Yedder winning this award because as I was informed this weekend, this award is 50% fan vote, 50% fan vote for the League One Player of the Month SBC, which is a crazy high ha uh, fan vote compared to the Premier League, which is only 10%. So. I think that's huge that it's 50%. I really think that Ben Yedder is going to get in because of that. And I mentioned in that, video, in that video as well, the market really, we saw the crash for Vardy. What is this market going to do if they put out a Ben Yedder Player of the Month SBC? Let's say they give him a plus two boost. He's probably going to have somewhere upwards of 88 pace, you know, upper 80 shooting, 88, 89 shooting, 83 passing, maybe even 90 dribbling. I mean, this card is going to be insane. Uh, and it's going to be a player of the month upgrade SBC. If they make that SBC anywhere less than 500,000 coins, I think you're going to see a lot of people want to go out and do it because right now I think his ones to watch card is somewhere around, yeah, it's dropped a little bit. I think, yeah, he's like 350,000 coins, but the ones to watch was 400K. So I think this card has dropped down in price a little bit as the live item. So if I see this SBC at 450K or below, I think a lot of people are going to do it. That's going to crash the market again for a lot of strikers, a lot of, especially the French guys. Um, a guy like Mbappe, you might see a guy like Mbappe kind of take a hit because um, people are going to go out and get this Ben Yedder. Mbappe is down a little bit already from where he was. I mean, he was 1.1 mil when his gold card was out of packs. Right now, he's just over a million. Uh, you might see people sell their Mbappe when they know Black Friday is coming. They might go get this Ben Yedder card, um, or you know, you might see some panic on Mbappe and then maybe rise back up as people link Mbappe to Ben Yedder, stuff like that. So I think Mbappe could be affected, but I think a lot of areas in the market could be affected as well. And if they make this SBC like very, we're talking like if this SBC has the popularity of the PK or the Jamie Vardy SBC. So if they value this uh, Ben Yedder Player of the Month SBC at anywhere less than like 350k, basically the current price of his ones to watch. If it's any cheaper than that, I think you're going to see this market again go into a free fall. I think you're going to see the the really th the real thing that I'm interested in is would will this SBC affect prices of these road to the final cards because if there's enough panic for a Jamie Vardy SBC for, you know, 20,000 coins to get an 86 rated striker French or excuse me, English in the prem What's it going to do for a French Ben Yedder card with the five-star weak foot, the four-star skills, and arguably the most popular striker in this game for all budgets? You can get a cheap version with the gold card and the inform is for more you know, higher up budgets. What is that card going to do to the market? I think it honestly could just crash it again, take it into another free fall. So a lot of people want to know when to buy Militao, when to buy a lot of these cards, what's the cheapest day going to be for them. I think that that really depends on how much panic there is with the Ben Yedder SBC. If we see that Ben Yedder on Wednesday when Osimhen, who is currently in the um, the SBC store, the Player of the Month Osimhen is still in the Squad Building Challenger section. If you see that SBC go away and Ben Yedder comes on Wednesday, that would be perfect because it would be before Weekend League Rewards. So there might not be as much demand for some of these Road to the Final cards just yet before Weekend League. Um, so that would be my look for especially Militao. I mean, we're probably going to get some content this week in terms of pack SBCs. And people are wondering, hey, when do I buy this Militao card? I need him for my team. I want him for my team. I mean, I tell you guys right now, this is probably going to be the VVD of last year. He is going to be out of packs, a card that just rises and rises and rises because he is one of the best center backs in the game. Some people have even said he's better than icons in this game. So this Militao card is very good. It's going to have so much hype with him. So I do think that a lot of people want to get this card for their team. And if you see a lot of panic around the Ben Yedder SBC, that could be an opportunity to pick them up. Again, as I mentioned before, if we get pack supply SBCs like we normally do through the week, that's going to be another good shout to pick up these cards. Um, 
you know, we're probably going to get more SBCs. You know, we, I had, we had the SBC today. Uh, where was it? Road to the final. The born to play SBC was just a, a normal pack SBC. We got that. I would expect multiple ones of those. And I do think we could get another player SBC at some point this week as well. Probably a uh, Champions League road to the final card. We have one Europa, one Champions League. So we might get another one. Of course, we are guaranteed either the Willian or the Vinicius. And my vote there is for Vinicius. And I think that SBC is, again, we're getting so many SBCs this week that could impact the market. Vinicius with the guaranteed, Vinicius or Willian, we're guaranteed that one. Ben Yedder and Nabry. So we could get three SBCs this week, all that have a chance to be very um, over-required, like EA is requiring way too much for them, or under-required. And EA is, you know, costing, or they're, uh, they, they're charging you know, 300K for a player of the month, Ben Yedder. Then they go ahead the next day and they charge 100K for a crazy boosted Vinicius card with upgradable, um, if he wins the vote, you know, that card's gonna be very um, sought after as well. So the SBCs this week, I think are what we need to focus on in terms of when is gonna be the buy time and what's gonna happen to the market. I mean, I told a lot of people, people in my stream tonight, this card is dropping because people know that that Vinicius SPC is coming and this card could lose some hype with the Vinicius SPC being out. This card obviously is a very good card. Four star, four star, high medium, five foot five. He fits the meta of this game. 97 agility, 98 balance. But Vinicius is gonna have more hype than this card um, just because it's gonna be an SBC. It's probably gonna be cheaper, I would hope, um, but it is a live item, so EA can price that however they want. Um, obviously, this Bernard is very good. You might see some panic with this. You might see a rebound. If Vinicius is way too expensive and it's not a big upgrade, you might see some rebound on this card. But uh, left mids, left wings that are Brazilian could take a hit. Um, and of course, if you guys have invested in any cards, um, high rated. It's a great time to do a high rated club stock. As you can see, some of these cards are actually up already because I think other people around the community are telling their followers to do this, telling people to do this, to get involved with the club stock. Earlier today, you could get like five or six, maybe even more 86 rated players for less than 10K. Right now, they're around 10K as well. If you haven't done a club stock, wait until Monday today. See if we get any pack content along with the icon swaps and maybe try to snatch some bids or snipes on some of these 86s. Some of the 87s, maybe snag one 88, and then try to get some 85s as well. The 84s are still kind of in an iffy range for me because I think people are still using them for the Corona and for uh, even some people that are still doing the Joe Gomez SBC. So a club stock, again, is something that would be very important in my opinion this week. Do a club stock, get those in your club. And honestly, I don't know, the blue cards probably don't make too much of a difference because I mean, the blue card's not going to be bought more than the gold in terms for SBC value. So uh, even though some of these are on here, I don't think that the blue on this list, even though it's a more rare card, if gold molar is 12K when an SBC comes out and blue molar is 14K, I don't think people are going to pay 14K for the blue molar. If he's in SBC solution, maybe. So maybe if you're SBC solution, guys, maybe you're trying to price fix the UCLs. I don't know. So I would say don't skip over these UCL cards when you're club stocking. Include these if you're going to club stock because it's basically like getting two molars in the club. You can get a gold version and you can get the UCL version. So that's my two cents on the club stock. I think that's a great shout. And then maybe club stock a couple informs as well because three SBCs this week with two player of the months and the Ben or the um, Vinicius or Willian. Bunch of 84 rated informs for 12K. Tammy, Kostic, um, especially Kostic if you need a Bundesliga inform later in the week. Mooney Ion at 12.5K. There's Lynx Galore with that card. And some of these older cards that are out of packs as well are a good shout. Nkulu is kind of one of my favorites in this. Center back, Serie A, very linkable. Um, just because he is Serie A and he's a center back, you might see that card go up as he could get into solutions. So that's kind of my two cents on the SBC fodder stuff this week. If you want to do a club stock, I'm all for that. Um, just maybe wait until a day where we get a little bit of content to do that, to make the most of your club stock and do it at a pretty low price range. But again, this entire week uh, is just about those SBCs, about road to the final cards and about icon objectives. Now, if you want to do a little bit of like a link investing type stuff, or if you want to trade during this week, I'm going to say to you guys, this is kind of like the motto right now, at least 
stay away from the gold cards because the gold cards, they're packed all the time. They're panic sold all the time because more likely than not, people have gold cards in their team. That's the most popular card in this game. You know, the top popular type of card is what I'm trying to say. Most people have at least a couple gold cards in their team. So those cards get panic sold the most often and they're always in packs uh, unless they have a special item. But if you want cards this week look through these screams i mean a lot of these guys got panic sold there's definitely going to be some rebound on some of these um the, you know link investments to stuff you know trippier is still like the best right back in la liga because of the pk sbc you kind of have to keep that stuff in mind as well like a lot of people have pk well maybe a lot of people are going to get Vinicius. so maybe you're going to have a little bit of a left side with some La Liga players. So maybe left backs like another Jordi Alba or Ferland Mendy or Marcelo possibility for a rise. And even that, um, interestingly enough, today on Sunday when I'm recording this, Alex Tellez had a goal uh, in a 1-0 victory. He was goal. He had the goal in the man of the match. And I think his card's like somewhere around 4,000 coins right now. Um, if this guy gets an inform, that's going to be a card that a lot of people are going to look at as well as a perfect left back to do some linking maybe between a Militao and a Vinicius. Um, that's a bit better quality than Marcelo, but Marcelo will obviously have the green links. So, you know, maybe some Brazilian center mids as well, some informs, maybe the Tyson inform would get a little bit of increase in price, stuff like that. Look for your Brazilians this week um, with the links to either Willian or to... Um, uh, Vinicius, and of course, all the cards that are in the road of the final that are Brazilian. You have Wendell, shoot, another left back, Wendell, the uh, UCL live card. This doesn't look like too bad of a card. Probably a lot of people are trying him out. Um, and then, of course, you do have the link to the Brazilian Militao. You have Allen um, and David Neres as well. So, another left wing. I feel like the Neres card could be affected a little bit by the Vinicius SBC if it is too cheap. So just be careful with that. If that's uh, something that you're interested in, that David Neres card, that card could see a little bit of panic throughout this week as well. But again, watch the supply on these cards. Wendell at 20K. Um, see what happens when we get these packs that come out, man. Like if it's if they give out a pretty good pack, just see what happens with the supply of these cards uh, because they're going to rise out of packs. We, we know that. Um, but we always like to see the supply. So it's, this, I looked at this on Saturday. It's about the same still 1.5 and 1.1 for the UCL and the Europa League road to the final players out of the 50 K pack. So they've been putting out a lot of promo packs. So if people have been spending FIFA points, they've had plenty of opportunity to open packs and there's probably going to be a decent amount of supply of these cards. And maybe that will inhibit how much pack supply EA puts out this week, but we'll see. Uh, with that. And then a reminder, of course, at the end of this week, we will have a second set of Road to the Final cards in packs, a second set for only three days, so or four days. Um, so I wanted to make that again known to you guys at the end of this week on Friday, we're going to be getting a second team of the Road to the Final cards. So we'll be watching out for that kind of stuff. But again, that's kind of the main things this week, Road to the Final continuing promo, and then the icon objectives, and a lot of SBCs this week. And you know what happens when there's a lot of SBCs? That means a lot of coins taken off the market. People have to sell player, players to go do those SBCs. So the market drops, people have less coins. Um, so they're building around those SBC players. So the link investments this week could be pretty good. I just wanted to mention that, throw that out there as well, depending on which SBCs are hype and usable and the best value, the good value SBCs, those are the ones that people like to link to. Just think of like Jordi Alba and Ter Stegen, how much they went up with the PK SBC. So that's the market outlook for this week. A lot of info in there, a lot of stuff about Road to the Final, a lot of stuff about Icon SBCs, excuse me, Icon Objectives, and how SBCs could impact the market this week. If I were you guys, I'm pretty liquid right now, apart from an Icon flip that I'm trying out, Mr. Um, Mr. Rush right there. So if I were you, I would just be trading. Again, you can look for fluctuations with informs, but every day around 6 p.m., I would say get your coins liquid because there's probably gonna be some sort of content coming and uh, you wanna be ready for it. You don't wanna get stuck with a loss uh, or with some cards that you're trying to flip or stuff like that. So again, just use caution this week with all the possible content that we could get from EA Sports. Should be a fun week, of course. A lot of content. SBCs make it fun, right? Uh, maybe even league SBCs this week too. So it should be a fun week on FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe 
to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.